Hello lords, ladies, dames and gents, welcome along to Sport Like It Is. My name is Ed and I've brought with me somebody from the ICU of the Sanson Clinic. A bit too much wrist action there it seems. It, it, was, uh, it was actually a sport watching injury. I was running away from Ellis Park, as some people have done over the years, and I tripped and fell. Um, and here we are. Reconstructed hand, but I can still talk, which is why I'm here. That's okay, you've still got the other one to gesture with, which is always... We're yeah. positing a bit here, but we're going to look ahead to the quarterfinals because we're assuming that there are not going to be too many upsets this weekend. Yeah, it's the, it's the final round of uh, pool, pool games. Um, cool. The only possible upset could be Italy Island. Highly so doubted. Man. But that's an awesome game yeah, to finish it's a good off. Yeah, And uh, Samoa Springboks, Springboks, well, they're, they're going to be too strong. So yeah, going into the quarters, what are we looking at? Alright, so it's gonna, it's basically going to be a north-north-south-south yeah. setup, mm -hmm. which means we'll get a north-south final, if that's the way it works out. The first one, of course, is Australia-South Africa. That one, I believe, is in Wellington. Yeah. Thoughts? Uh, I'm going to go with the box there by eight. Purely the, the structure, I think, is so good right now for the box. Um, Do you think they're going to unleash Bismarck on that on that game? He's a caged animal at the moment. I would love to say yes, but I think John's going to do the 50 minutes, and then Bismarck's going to do the 30. So impact yeah, player? Definitely. Impact but again, player. that bench. Exactly the same with Hoko, exactly the same with Elvis. Impact players, uh, box by eight. I was going to struggle a bit with the Quade Cooper factor. Staying in the south, it will be New Zealand, Argentina, of course. Yes. Argentina are a bit unpredictable, but having said that, but the New Zealanders aren't going to screw this one up, are they? Yeah, and Argentina just lost that Lobe character, who's one of their best players. Contraponi's looking a bit like a flat tyre. Uh, all backs by 20. Pretty comfortable I'm victory being there. there. You've been conservative. Yeah. Uh, key players for the All Blacks going forward. Of course, Ken Reid sounds like he's suffered yeah, another injury. That's again. a problem, yeah. But uh, if you look, Israel Dag's probably going to keep keep going. He's, he's on four fantastic. tries at the moment. He's on four tries at the moment. Dan Carter, obviously huge. And then Sonny Bill Factor off the bench, also quite a big thing. Ford Pack, we know they're good. They've got great tight five. Lucy's are pretty good. Easy. England, France. Mm. Chris yeah. Ashton. Five, I think he's on five he's, tries. Chris Ashton's on five tries at the moment. Record, of course, is eight held by Havana and Lomu, right, jointly. This game, I think, will be the difficult one. Difficult. Yeah. Which is quite surprising, seeing as the World Cup's normally ball fest. Exactly. But I think, Ed, this is going to be quite an interesting game in that this is the hardest one to pick. Um, but both the Northern Hemisphere games are actually quite hard to pick. These guys play all the time. But France they showed quite... glimpses in that game against New Zealand, didn't they? They did. They started so well, but just couldn't capitalise. Uh, at the end, both their tries were relatively soft. Morgan Parr is also up there as one of the top point scorers. He's quite good. Pretty solid with the boots from the floor and out of his hand as well. Yeah, the problem is if you watch that Yashvili play, it takes about five seconds to put a box kick in. Mm -hmm. That's not going to work against the English. The English are going to try to tie them down the whole time. England, I'm going to go with England by 12. Special mention to, to Dave Alred and uh, Paul Stridgen, assistant coach and fitness coach respectively <laughs> of England, who were banned this week for swapping the balls while fun. Johnny Wilkinson was taking a kick from right out in front. Do it if he's on the touchline, but right out in front, seriously, and getting caught for it. I mean, uh, seriously? But it, but it, that is so English. They, they always try to take these things too serious. Like, remember the, the blood gate? The, the, yep. the guys like, hey, we need you to sub, bite these That was a wink nearly as good as Ronaldo's. Come on, this is stupid. Play the game. So outside of the, uh, well off the field rather, England have got a few problems, so we're going France for that one. Yeah, I think so, definitely. Alright, so that would set up an, a possible semi-final with either the Irish or the Welsh. Yeah. Now the Irish, so far, have been inconsistent the whole year. Uh, they've got their game against Italy on Sunday, and they had uh, a game in Rome earlier in this year where they won courtesy of a, a drop goal. I think it was Ronan Agaro who mm. pinged it over in the last minute. So that's going to be a really good game, but we're assuming that Ireland are going to get through. Against Wales, can you see them coming through, getting out on top there? They're actually yeah. the dark horse. That's actually, what you know what, now that you mentioned, I think this is a tough game to pick for England versus France because Wales still have an attacking ability to them. They've got some dynamic backs. Their forward pack's pretty decent. Their, uh, their young captain, Warburton, whatever his name is, solid, solid player. He really is a good player. Um, you know and what, well spoken as well. I, th I think the winner of this game will actually get to the final because I don't think England or France are going to be good enough to carry it on. So I'm I'd love to see the Irish get to the final. I would also like to see the Irish get to the final. Because I reckon that they're one side that can do the All Blacks on their day. Well, I don't think any of those Northern Hemisphere sides can do any you um, don't. Southern Hemisphere side on their day. O'Driscoll's got one, I mean, more, like, okay, one more magic run left. Obviously, on, the man. Aussies cocked up that theory, but no, I think... And Johnny I'm, Sexton with the greatest name. So I'm going to go with Ireland, but it's going to be bloody close. SLII.co.za. Find us on Facebook and Twitter. Let's finish with the Mexican wave. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.